Greetings, humans. DJ Urbanovsky with American Comic Custom Blades out of Omaha, Nebraska, here to introduce a new project. Uh, it's just coming out on the 24th. This is available exclusively through Era3, E R A T H R, and then the number 3.com. Uh, they have these on their blade section. This is the third knife that I've done for the good folks over there at Era3. Uh, this is the M41 Cleaver. It's an exclusive deal just for them and uh, just wanted to go over the features and details on this real quick and uh, how to deploy and resheath the knife. So uh, let's get down to brass tacks. This is the actual knife itself. It's made of 1875 thickness CPM S35VN with an attractive and durable black DLC coating from Ion Bond. It is compound ground with a reinforced tip and uh, here you see in this fuller, which is on both sides of the knife, to reduce weight, uh, we have my logo, we have the Era 3 logo, and then we have a limited edition serial number machined right into that fuller right there. So that covers the blade and the coating. Handles are three layer black, gray, and white G10. Got some nice attractive racing stripe action going on here, and then we have the Era 3 logo machined into the handles themselves. Uh, fasteners are 416 stainless, and they have this nice uh, oil quenched bronze finish to them, which I find very attractive and exciting. I am really digging this knife. It's substantial without being too much of a boat anchor, and uh, very confidence inspiring in the hand. Uh, works in a wide array of grips. Uh, I do like the standard hammer fist grip uh, when using this guy. You've got a nice dished out area right here on the front of the handle. Our thumb's just going to drop right into that and suck the blade into our hand right here. Now these guys are sharp all the way up to the heel. You can see got a nice tooth right here that is built up. It is sharp. Uh, what I like to do and what I advocate, I send them out sharp. It's always easier to dull that down than it is to sharpen it back up on the end user level. Uh, but if you find that you're uncomfortable carrying a knife that's sharp all the way to the heel like this, or you're concerned that it's going to nip you on your index finger, or maybe you get too froggy with it and you choke up too far on it, uh, it is quick work with whatever sharpening system you happen to have on hand, be it a ceramic rod, stones, you know, etc. to just kind of break that edge. You don't have to remove a lot of material. All you're looking to do is just create a little tiny flat spot right there uh, so that it can't bite you and uh, will still cut effectively. So that's the knife. That's its attributes. Let's go over the sheath. It is Kydex. It is a low profile taco style, which means wrapped over here on the spine side. Uh, where the spine of the knife is going to contact that and then we've got grommets all the way around here basically uh, Now because this is sort of a wasp wasted kind of a knife. It's fatter here at the business end uh, Than it is here near the handle. It can be a little tricky uh, at first to get the hang of uh, Resheathing it once you've got the, the blade deployed. So we're just going to go over that real quick and I'll do it a couple times here so you can see it. Here we've got our sheath. Now instead of trying to ram this thing just straight home into the sheath, what we're going to do is we're going to insert it cutting edge first into the mouth of the sheath. And we're just going to push it until it starts to slow down. Like we're trying to split this grommet right here. We don't want to actually do that. But we do want to kind of get that in there until we've got some resistance inside the mouth of the sheath. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the blade up like this until our handle is in line with the mouth of the sheath where it's going to lock in the handle area with the sheath and then we just push that home like that. Again, deploys nice as pie and then to resheath it again we're just going to insert this blade into the mouth of the sheath. I'm going to push it up towards that grommet and then we're just going to rotate it up and drive her home. And that's it. If you'd like to see how to carry this or my other knives inside the waistband appendix carry with this lanyard, there is a plethora of videos. If you'll just scroll down the YouTube channel, you can check those out. It'll go all over the, uh, the carriage options with the lanyard and how I like to set it up. And uh, you buy one of these knives, you can get the knife, you can get the sheath, you get a chunk of paracord, so you can set it up like I do, a cord end, and uh, one of these nifty ITW cord locks. This is 100%. USA made knife. Again, this is the M41 Cleaver exclusively for Era 3. I'm DJ Urbanovsky of American Kami Custom Blades, 
Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks again for all your support, and please support my friends over at Era 3 by buying these kick-ass knives. Thanks. Stay safe, America.